SEC final segment. Let's talk a little boxing. We might have a little uh, over uh, over uh, time period as well to be able to cover some of the rest of our boxing news and events. You should just agree with me on Lamar Jackson. Let's talk about the Deontay <laughs> Wilder versus <laughs> Luis Ortiz bout that just happened. Very interesting bout. We watched the game. I mean, the boxing, the the match, and Deontay Wilder uh, comes out with his uh, with his with his his, his uh, bronze bomber gear. Louis Brooklyn. Ar- uh, Louis Ortiz <laughs> comes out with Bob his squad. his shirt with his uh with his uh uh, uh vein his Bane shirt. I will break you. I must break you shirt. Oh, man. So I mean, you sound like somebody who can't talk. Well, he <laughs> he comes out and he gets broken. I mean, he gets beat up and knocked out, beat down, punched down. Eventually, in the second round, very good fight. Ten round Not for battle. A lack of effort, though. Two, Louis, un- Louis two undefeated, two really awesome undefeated fighters going at it. Of course, Deontay trying to prove to people that he is the real deal. Beating Louis Ortiz, does he does he make that point? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't see how he doesn't. Um, nobody in boxing really wanted to fight Luis Ortiz. Um, a lot of people who who knew the sport very well all were saying, Dante Wilder, what are you doing? Why do you take this fight? You could have got the Anthony Joshua fight. You don't have to fight Ortiz. Nobody wanted to fight him. Uh, and and uh, Dante Wilder always referred to him as the most technical fighter in that division. And... I don't think he wrong. Luis Ortiz showed a lot, and Dante Wilder could have easily lost that fight if he didn't rally back from being stunned sometimes by Ortiz. And he, he put him on his ass, man, and he deserved to be a champion. Anybody who's talking about Dante Wilder is overrated, um, he doesn't deserve it, he didn't fight anybody, please go watch this Luis Ortiz fight because Ortiz was a very technical, professional fighter at a big left hand, Throws amazing combinations. And he caught Dante Wilder with a lot of shots. Couldn't put him down, man. And he could not take that right hand from Wilder. Just like everybody else who went up against him. So, I think uh, Dante Wilder's the real deal. And this fight puts a lot on Andy Joshua. And uh, he has to make very short work of Parker to be impressive and to pass up on Dante Wilder if he wants to. If not, the world is going to be... Basically campaigning for the Andy Joshua Dante Wilder fight that, after this. It, absolutely, DC, and that was perfectly said because when it comes down to it, man, all I could say is that watching this fight, I was amped. You know, because Deontay Wilder, it's exciting, man. Deontay Wilder matched up against King Kong Ortiz, and King Kong Ortiz ain't no buster. He ain't no bum. He ain't no chump. This guy was twenty eight and old, twenty four knockouts coming into this never fight. Never had a loss. He never, he never was knocked down. He's a tre- a tremendous heavyweight. You know, he's a very scary dude in the ring. A lot of the fighters ran around away from him, as uh, Dante Wilder said in his post fight, which you can go on the Sports Coma, uh, go on the PRO Media Network YouTube page where you can see a lot of our YouTube uh, presentations, video reports, and also podcasts. You just find us on the, pro, the PRO Media Network on YouTube, and you can watch the highlights of the Dante Wilder matchup. What it did do was solidify. Uh, his standing in the heavyweight division and proved to people that this man wasn't just some one punch wonder that he uh, he can actually box. And remember, he came into this fight at two fourteen. Uh, Ortiz was two hundred and forty pounds, two forty one to be precise. Now let's listen to another big heavyweight title of uh, heavyweight champion Lennox Lewis said about Deontay Wilder via text uh, uh, a tweet. He said this fight will do for Wilder what Klitschko fight did for Anthony Joshua. He showed heart and composure at the brink of defeat. It only makes me want to see Wilder and Joshua that much more. But but Anthony Joshua has his own business to take care of. Now that's well said by former heavyweight champion Lennox Lewis, another big, a big uh, heavyweight six five guy, six four guy who was who was dominant in his time, and he's absolutely right. The we we cannot overlook the fight that he has with Anthony with, jo- with Joseph Parker. Parker is a bad boy too. And we'll preview that fight uh, in the overtime in the next overtime segment. But DC let's continue on with this matchup with Deontay Wilder. Wilder is in my opinion a champion. He he, he was able to brutalize uh, uh, Ortiz beating him down 
punching him, bashing him. And Ortiz moved his head. He, he you know, he just could he not get everything get, right, man. And that's what I was saying. And if you heard one of my our previous boxing uh, reports that we did about the decept the deceptive speed and power of Deontay Wilder. Right. Deontay Wilder is six foot seven. He has an 80, 83 inch arm length, and he can punch you from Kansas. And then with the the point about it is he smelled when he smelled blood in the water. He's a ter- he's 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 very difficult. And another thing people don't realize about the fact that he can brutalize you because he has power in both fists, and especially in that right one, that he is a sneaky, accurate puncher. Yeah, he is. Very accurate. Nobody's talking about how accurate weird, Deontay, weird angles that he comes from. I told you he can talk and punch you at weird angles, but then these weird angles that he punched from, he doesn't lose power and he's accurate in punching you and hitting you. Then another thing is he can punch true and AJ can do the same thing. But Deontay Wilder will punch you and you can have your guard up and punch you through your arms and it won't have the same effect, but you'll feel it because he did it at least three times that I seen with King Kong Ortiz. Oh yeah. So this is one of those fights, man. Where what, was, to I think me it was more than three, man. I've, well, at least three is he, what I he said. didn't hit him at all prior to that fifth round. And if you watch the fight, the first five rounds were boring. <laughs> they was trying to size each he other, was sizing yeah. each other, figuring it out. And once Deontay Wilder figured out. It was over. How to Bomb land squad, that baby. right hand on Ortiz by him being a southpaw. Um, Deontay Wilder, I think this is the first southpaw he fought. But he, the first big right hand that he landed on Ortiz, it put him on the ground. It, I mean, and Ortiz, <laughs> to my knowledge, and I researched it, hadn't been on the mat in his professional career. So, I mean, and also, but then again, he never fight a, fight, a fighter like Wilder. Right. Now, let me ask you this, because Wilder's now 40 and 0 and 39, Okay. Okay. 39 knockoffs, but it could easily be 40 because the guy that... Uh, Stavern. Stavern, he fought him again. And decision. He, he beat the hell out that of him. That was the second time. time. The first time when the he took The first time belt. it was a decision, but he did knock Stavern out he in did. the first round. He should have got that knockout. It. Right. He should have got and it And right. Stavern probably wouldn't have made the count from what it looked like to me, even right. though he got saved by the bell. So, right. so it could have easily been 40 and 40. But with Deontay saying that, though, with Deontay Wilder, we got two minutes left before we go out and go into break. But with De saying that, Deontay Wilder is now 40 and 0 and 39. Retains his his belt in his seventh title defense. He said in the post-game press conference, you can listen to it on the PRO Media Network uh, YouTube page. That's the same amount of Andy Joshua has, right? Doesn't he have seven as well, title defenses? Oh, uh, no, I think it's like six or something like that. Six. But... He should get his respect here. Now, before we go into break quickly, what's the next fight here if it's not Anthony Joshua? For Dante Wilder? Yes. Man, that's crazy. Man, I would say if, if Wilder doesn't want to fight him, he got to fight Parker. I got to take his leftovers, and I got to spice him up, season him, and beat it better than he did. <laughs> Boy, but I mean... That's the only option. I mean, if you still want the Anthony Joshua fight, you, well, you got to make him come for you. If I do uh, Parker more dirty than you, how do you not fight me? But we'll talk a little bit more boxing on the other side to break. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about Wilder, what's going ahead, what's going ahead for Lewis Ortiz. We also have the Anthony Joshua and Joseph Parker preview part two coming up as well on the other side to break. Just stay, hang with us.